Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face prompt tutorial, mostly drugstore, mostly affordable products, but we do have some high-end ones sprinkled in there as well. I hope you guys like it. It's awesome if you have a neutral color dress, maybe a purple or pink one, maybe a cream, anything like that. And if you have maybe a blue or a red or a green dress instead, just switch out the purpley tones for green, blue, red, um, maybe just like oranges or like maybe just browns, gunmetal shades, gray shades, silver shades, gold shades. You can really tailor this technique to your look and I hope you guys like it and thank you so much for you know clicking on this video and seeing what I have to you know show you guys and I hope you guys like it. Let's just get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is prime our skin. I'm going to start off with using the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. I haven't actually used this yet, so kind of like a first impression. Um, I'm interested to see how it works. I think it'll be good, though. Oh my god. This is not a primer mist. This is a primer spray. <laughs> it is not light. I've never been picky about how something mists me before. I know people talk about that all the time in videos, but like guys, I feel drenched. Like, I'm kind of taking it and like rubbing it into my skin. This is what I do if there's ever like a lot of product. I will kind of try to put it in areas where I feel like it didn't really hit. If it's like a weird spray like that, oh, that was insanity. Now I'm feeling a little bit more moisturized. So what I'm gonna do is actually go in with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I love this for around the nose. It's awesome if you have pores. If you have dry skin, I would not recommend putting this everywhere, but where you have pores is awesome. So I just put it on my nose. I also put this closest to my nose on my cheeks because your girl has pores there. And then I'll put up my forehead, honey bit there. Kind of like my T-zone basically is where I have bad pores. And I'm just going to blend this out with my hands. Don't mind my nails, they are growing out, I'm trying to be really good to them, and they're looking a little ratchet without polish on at the moment. So after we have our face nice and primed, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, mine is in the shade Shell Ivory. This is good for pictures and photography and stuff. It apparently has been tested in all these awesome lightings and cameras and selfies and just all the things, so... To me, that sounds absolutely perfect for prom. Spatula slash like cap kind of makes it hard to get all the product out because you don't want to hit your face with the cap. But for the most part, the applicator, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Especially for an event like prom or any place or time when you're taking a lot of pictures, you want to put it down your neck. And then I'm going in with my Real Techniques blending complexion sponge thing and just going to bounce this around. I have so much product on my nose, I can feel it. Classic. If you're really close to my skin tone, this is the perfect shade. Like, I literally love this shade. I'm gonna put a little bit under the eyes. I don't necessarily put a dot under my eyes just because if you're gonna be using concealer and stuff, you don't really want to cake the under eyes up. All right, that was one layer. I definitely think for prom and pictures and everything, you're gonna want another layer. So just go back in with the foundation, put it on areas where you see redness, discoloration, acne, anything that you really wanna cover, just put a tiny bit more on. This is my version of tiny, by the way. This might, this might not work for yours. <laughs> and then once you're like, kind of using your foundation as a concealer almost, I would not really try to sheer it out. I would really just pat in that certain area until the product is blended out compared to patting everywhere. So that way you get a full coverage look. So that's the foundation on my face. Now with prom, obviously you don't want anything with SPF because SPF creates a flashback. So you'll see like really white skin on your face compared to it actually looking like your skin color. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna be going in with the Rimmel Match Perfection in the shade 125 Fair. This is my favorite concealer. Not even from the drugstore, just in general. It is full coverage, but like in a very natural way. So for me, this foundation is nice, but it is a tiny bit more drying on me. So using a concealer that gives some hydration back, almost put myself in the eye. That gives some hydration back, but also creates a nice full coverage look is essential. 
You can also put this on areas, once again, that you really want to have covered. I have a blemish right there. I forgot to get that. And then I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques blending sponge and just blend all these little dots into my skin. All right, so the concealer is now all blended under my eyes and stuff, and I think it looks great. I'm going to be going in with the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, taking a little bit of it, kind of tapping it off, and just going all over my face and kind of down my neck as well. This just sets the makeup. It's translucent, so it's pretty much good for anybody. Make sure that your makeup isn't going to like be tacky or sticky and it won't come off on, you know, your friends or your date or, you know, on your hands or anything throughout the night. And then I'm going to go in precisely with the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Powder. I'm going to take some of that on the back of my hand and then go in with that sponge we use underneath our eyes. This is damp and taking some of the powder and just putting it underneath the eyes. This is not really baking. If I put on a lot, it would be, but I'm just pressing the powder into my skin. At this point, I'm actually going to put on a lip oil, which basically is like a lip balm. It's just really nourishing, and when you're ready to put on your lip product, your lips will be super soft. This is by Milani, by the way. It's in the raspberry scent or flavor thing, and it's awesome. Now, because it's prom, I'm sure you want bold brows. You want them to show up in the pictures without being too scary. So I recommend using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. You can honestly use anything for your eyebrows and make it work. Like, I don't think there's one product that you need to have in your life. But if you have this around or if you're wanting a new brow product, this one's pretty great. All I do is just take a tiny bit on my brush. And then I just go underneath my eyebrow. And I just basically draw a straight line underneath the entire thing. Well, not a straight line, but following my eyebrow, I guess. And then once I get to the end, I just flip over the brush and just blend that product upwards. And as you can see, one eyebrow just looks a little bit fuller, a little bit fluffier and more like feathery um, than the other one. I still do have a little bit of like bald spots and stuff here. So whatever is left on my brush, I'll just go back in, but I'm not adding any more product because that's when it gets too heavy handed and it can be bad. So once again, doing the same thing on the other eyebrow because symmetry, you know? Now if I feel like going a little bit more extra and all out, which honestly prom is a perfect time to do that, I take an angled brush with some concealer. This one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus and I put that underneath my eyebrow, which is a new thing for me. I haven't really done this too often before, um, but if I really want my eyebrows to stand out, this is perfect. So. Just basically tracing a line underneath where my eyebrows are, blend it downwards, blend it side to side, kind of put some right here too. It just makes it look a little bit more finished and flawless. And then lastly, I'm going in with just a clear brow gel. You can use a fiber brow gel, you can use a colored one. Um, this is just the one that I had in front of me. This is by Pixie. And I'm just going through my eyebrows right now. Just kind of combing them, setting them in place, so that way, if you're dancing the night away, they won't dance off your face. Now that our eyebrows are done, I'm going to put on some eye primer. This is from Too Faced. This is their Shadow Insurance. I kind of jump around with my um, face products and eye products. I just kind of do whatever calls me next. I don't really know. I have no order, to be honest. I like to let my primers kind of set a little bit before I jump into the eyes if I can. So I'm going to let that set and we're going to go in with the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. By the way, my chair is literally so squeaky, so it's been frustrating me this entire video. This is in the bronzer shade. They also have a light... Ah, this is in the bronzer shade. They also have a light bronzer, but this is bronzer and it's really good. I've only used it honestly once before and that time was earlier today when I was filming a different video. So, so far I like it. Um, I've heard awesome things, so I do know it is a good one. All right, so now we bronze everywhere we can possibly bronze. So far, like I said, this is a good product and I do like it. Moving forward, I'm going to use the Milani Powder Blush. I haven't actually tried this one yet. This is another product I've heard awesome things about. Another blush that would be maybe similar to this would be um, Tarte's Exposed. That one's great, but I wanted to use this one since it was a little bit cheaper. This is in the shade Romantic Rose, by the way. Oh my god, this is so pretty. <gasps> Stop. Stop. This is matte, so it'll be so pretty for pictures because you can really focus with a highlighter where you want the glow. Shut up. 
and plus it's just so pretty like the little rose perfect for prom season I think we're gonna save highlighter for the end because I want to skip ahead to eyes like I said I do mine in a really weird order it's just me so I zoomed you guys just a little bit closer and now we're going to get down with the eyes I honestly don't have many drugstore palettes which really stinks at least ones that I like so this is the bomb meet matrimony palette and it's really great it's at Nordstrom Rack right now for $14.97 I believe that's where I got mine what a great deal and I've been using this like crazy I have a go-to look that I really want to share with you guys so we're starting off all over our entire eye with matte Lynn, which is just a nice matte creamy white shade and we're putting that literally everywhere just to kind of set our primer so it doesn't get all bunchy and patchy when we try to blend things on top of it next with like a flat shader type of brush I'm gonna go in with matte Thomas which is this pinky shade and these are powdery but I don't care because it's so good and I'm putting that all over my lid like look how pigmented that light pink is it's awesome all right after doing that before we get any further with darker shades I'm actually gonna use some scotch tape and maybe you've never watched a lot of makeup tutorials before so you have no idea what I'm doing but basically if you kind of like put this on the back of your hand and lift it a few times it won't be as tacky personally I like it to be super tacky so it's up to you but you're gonna put this underneath your lash line and going kind of up to your eyebrow some people like to have it connect to the tail of their brow I like it to be slightly below it personally it's just what I find more comfortable and like makes a better wing I know I'm putting this on top of foundation but honestly I found that this really doesn't take off my foundation I don't know if I'm lucky or from the chosen one but it doesn't so hey so I'm going to go back in with this palette and take the shade matte Rossi which is this beautiful like taupey gray and we are putting that in the crease with a fluffy brush so it's not super concentrated and next I'm going to take some of Matt Moskowitz and Matt Reed and just tap between the two back and forth back and forth tap a lot off okay and then go in just on the outer part of your eye that's actually all I'm going to do right now for the shadow but next we are going to go in with the physicians formula eye booster pen mine is in ultra black and I'm going to line my upper lash line and then I'm also going to wing it out and it's so easy to wing it out with tape on it because you just kind of like draw over the tape and like draw a little bit on your skin and it creates a really awesome wing so the wings might need a little cleaning up after we take off the tape because they're not looking crazy even right now but that's just how it normally goes for me that's just my routine so I don't really mind it this is a detailer brush from Real Techniques and I'm going in with L'Oreal's infallible amber rush loose pigment kind of thing and this is perfect to make your eyes pop now I guess I probably should have done this before I did my liner but I wasn't really thinking I guess so I'm basically just putting that on the inner part of my eye so we're starting right here going a little bit more in going to about here maybe like a third of the eye just because I don't really want to make it all super glittery if you want to you totally can I feel like prom makes sense for it um, but everyone has a different you know glitter tolerance and I don't really feel like going crazy today once you have the initial base down on your eyes I would say go back in and take maybe a similar brush to what we laid down the initial just white shade all over and get maybe the crease shade a little bit of that shade I'm just kind of going anywhere where I feel like needs to be kind of fixed up a little bit and I never do my eye makeup first just because I literally can't get out of this habit but it would be good to do your eye makeup first before you did a glittery sparkly shade I just I can't do it so we're just kind of blending those two together making it a little bit more of a seamless transition so I'm not gonna add any more product on my brush I'm just gonna take what I already had and then just bring that a little bit further in because that'll slowly sheer out to the other color and it'll make it a little bit more seamless compared to like BAM in your face. After we finish this, I'm just going to take off the tape, which is like a huge thing, big reveal. And here is what my makeup is looking like at the moment. Maybe yours is somewhere similar to this. I'm gonna go back in with the liquid liner a little bit and just fix up any little areas that have maybe gone astray 
I always have a better wing than another one. This one's pretty good overall. And there we have the wings on our eyes right now. I keep saying ours, but this is literally just my face. So moving forward, I'm going to go in with a smaller like detail kind of brush. And the next shade you take really depends on you. You can go in with this chocolatey brown. You can go in with the black if you're feeling really intense. You can go in with the purple if that's a shade of your dress or something. You want to make it really pop. I think for me, I am going to do the brown shade and I'm just going to drag that underneath my lash line. There we have it. It is under the lashes. And if you're feeling a little bit more extra and dramatic, you can always go back in with that super glittery shade that you use on the inner part of your lid and just drag that underneath the lashes, kind of connecting in the tear duct and bringing it down. You can bring it all the way over, you can just bring it halfway. It's up to you. I've done both and I like either way. So now I'm gonna go back in with Matte Lynn, the initial shade, and just put that directly underneath the eyebrow to brighten it, to make it pop. And all I'm gonna do next is just blend out with a clean brush right underneath the eyebrow slash like where all the colors ended. So it makes it a little bit more smoky and dramatic, but also it doesn't create any harsh edges. It makes it very, you know, light and airy. All right, so next I'm going to line my upper waterline or my tight line with this Perversion Eyeliner from Urban Decay. Just basically doing this. It looks really scary. I know, it is kind of scary. And then if you want to make it a little bit lighter of a look, you can use a brown liner or if you want to make it really intense and deep, you can use a black liner. I think I'm going to go with a brown for this just because I'm just going to be taking this off in a few hours. So why go crazy? But this is the Rimmel Scandalize in Brown. I'm going to curl my lashes, put on mascara, and then put on false lashes. So I'll be right back for that because it's, you know, pretty standard. You know how to put on mascara in lashes. I actually have an entire video on, so I will link that up here. So this is how we're looking at the moment. I just did some CoverGirl Super Sizer on my top and bottom lashes and actually right now I'm just going to go in and gently blend the two together. You might see a little bit of lash glue because it's still drying but I wanted to come back on here because I missed you guys. <laughs> so I just wiped away any of the lip oil I still had on. Most of it had actually sunk in which is awesome, great for the lips and we're going to highlight. So. This is the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. Mine is in the shade Peach Lights. This is what the shade looks like. And I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Fan Brush, which is great if you want to do a super, super concentrated and light um, application of a really intense highlight. So that's perfect for this one. And here we go. Just putting that on the top of the cheekbones. And I like this because you can really control how much you put on. You can build it up really gently. This is a perfect highlighter as well for this kind of look because it's super, you know, pink and purple, champagne, so it's great um, for this specific color scheme. Alright, so we are almost done. Now it's time for the lip options. First, I'm going to go with the Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Deep. You can use any lip liner you want. You can also use any lip shade you want. I want a nude lip with this. I think it would be really pretty. But like I was saying, you can do anything. I love Rimmel lip liners. I like NYX. Any lip liner you have is fine. Okay, so this is Future Brooke, and just letting you know, um, putting a lip liner on underneath this liquid lipstick is a very bad idea. Don't do it. It messes with the formula. It makes it all bunchy and gross. So I'm going to keep this clip in, but just don't do it. So that's what it's looking like right now. It's definitely way too um, like warm red brick right now. So in order to kind of counteract that and make it more fitting for this eye look, I'm going to go in with this. This is the Rimmel. Provocalypse 16 hour uh, kiss proof lip color in the shade wish upon a berry This does not budge once you have it on your lips. It is really watery But once it sets it sets and I've eaten with this on and it does not come off I literally have to scrub my lips at the end of the day and it's so comfortable and moisturizing and you can't tell you have it on your lips I love this so much so as this sets you're gonna wait about I think a minute or so and then you're gonna put on the other side which is a balm almost but with a doe foot applicator and this makes sure that your lips are moisturized and conditioned but somehow it just locks it in and it keeps it forever this is such a great product I'm obsessed it looks so pretty on the lips and I think it's perfect with the whole look it's very natural and neutral but it also has a slight pink tone to it too if you want you can finish off with a setting spray this is the L'Oreal infallible one this is new to me I don't really know how well it works but at the moment 
it seems okay. And after you spray it on your face, you're just gonna wanna shake it off like Taylor Swift. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some tips, tricks, possibly a prom look for you. It really was fun to film this and I hope you guys liked it. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment thumbs up and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Let me love you too if you're alright